wanted to bring everybody up to speed on what's been going on with my swing evolution. I'm proud to say that I've been working non-stop for weeks on all of my golf productions. Uh, I have been putting up videos which you've gotten a chance to see. I've taken on a bunch of new students which have really taught me so much that I can't thank them enough. As far as my teaching goes, I'm so excited that I've had a half a dozen new students I've been working with. So what's important to me is that the concepts that I've learned that help me so much are having an immediate impact on other golfers. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Everything from 70s shooters to 100 shooters have improved. So that's a great thing for my swing evolution. Great, like, uh, my, my contact is great. Um, David is great, um, and the feeling of the, the swing is after I hit the ball is awesome. Like I mean, it seemed like uh, I'm not trying to force the ball to go anywhere. Um, it's just it, it goes. Now I'm working really hard on a new My Swing Evolution instructional video. Slack in the golf swing is your enemy and the black belt scoring system. I was gonna have these as two separate projects, but I decided that I'm gonna put them together into one inexpensive video. And I really think the project is coming along great. I'm putting every ounce of energy I have into it. And I think the information is really, really great. It's very info dense. And I think there's a lot to learn from it. And it's a lot easier than scouring 259 videos that I've put online. So I am still moving forward with all of my productions. My Ben Hogan documentary is moving along great. I'm still plugging away at it. A movie takes a long time to make. And so I'd love to share with you the new sizzle reel for my new Ben Hogan documentary. And if you'd like to make a donation, I'll leave a link in the description box if you'd like to look that up. So thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy Looking for Hogan. I'm Christo. I'm a filmmaker from Los Angeles. There's only one thing I may love more than making movies, and that's golf. Yeah, I'm a golfer. Now, I didn't say I was a very good golfer, but I will say that I love the game. I've been playing it since I was eight years old. I just never got very good at it. It's pretty much been a source of great frustration my whole life. I'm not sure when my obsession with Ben Hogan began. He just always seemed to me to be the quintessential golfer, and I wanted to be just like him. And then one day, I bought his book. And it was like I had Ben Hogan as my own personal teacher. I went online and started watching videos. And then I started making videos of myself so I could look at my swing and compare it to Mr. Hogan. Well, I'm telling you, everything changed. All of a sudden, I had a new swing. I had a new attitude. I even had a new persona. I wanted to swing just like Ben Hogan. I know it sounds crazy, but this started to open up all sorts of doors for me. Before you know it, I was playing a lot better. I was making videos, so I decided I'd start my own YouTube channel called My Swing Evolution. and it turned out great. Hey everybody, I'm Christo Garcia from My Swing Evolution, and I'm here today to give you my top five Hogan secrets that you need to know to go through your own swing evolution. I can't believe my channel has over six million views. And then I figured, well heck, I ought to write a book. Then I got featured in one of the biggest golf magazines in the world. Well, I kept working on my Hogan swing. And then one day, the unthinkable happened. Hello, and welcome to my swing evolution. I'm proud to say that I'm four years into my evolution, and what started as a little quest to try and break 80, soon turned into an epic adventure to try and break par. And guess what? I just did it. I just shot two under par, a round of 70 on the course where my swing channel began. 
At this point, things were going so great for me. What would any filmmaker do? Well, I decided I'm going to make my own movie about Ben Hogan. And I can't really tell his story without telling my own. So I headed to Texas. Well, here I am in the fine state of Texas, the home of Ben Hogan, ready to start my movie project. I got a chance to play in Doug Sanders' charity tournament. I had heard when he, before the accident, he had won a long drive competition they would hold at the Masters. So he wasn't short before no, the no, accident. No, 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 he was not short at all, no. But you can't win all the things Hogan did in being short. You gotta have a little edge, but even though he ate it straight. I just got finished having dinner with Doug Sanders and he was telling me some Hogan stories that were just the coolest thing ever. So after wrapping up in Houston, it was time to keep moving forward. Next stop, Fort Worth, Texas. This is the home of Ben Hogan. I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now. I am standing on the ninth green at Glen Garden Country Club where Ben Hogan learned to play golf. Uh, this is where he and Byron Nelson had those uh, the famous and legendary caddy matches, uh, like when Byron Nelson sank a 30-footer on the last hole to beat Ben Hogan as kids. And it's just, this has been the craziest journey. I can't believe I'm actually standing here at Glen Garden Country Club and uh, just imagining that Ben Hogan worked his butt off here to learn how to play the game. And now I'm trying real hard to learn how to play the game too in his style. I hope that I'm going to get a chance to play golf out here. Um, I'd just be the ultimate, you know, capper for my whole documentary. Well, unfortunately, I never got to play at Glen Garden. It closed soon after I visited. And this got me thinking. Ben Hogan's story is fading away more and more every day. So I think it's crucial that I reach out to the people that actually knew him so I can document the story of who I believe was the greatest golfer that ever lived. So why don't you come join me? This is my quest and I'm looking for Hogan. <laughs>